next step is to destroy Magritta. How are we going to do that? They're so much more powerful than we are. All right, one thing that's key to remember is that your Minotaurs are siege attackers. So we're going to move Goros into a range to attack here, and I want to make sure he comes in as close to the edge of the map as possible where we're actually going to be setting up, because it's key to the strategy that we use. And then we attack. Now you're like, oh my god, that balance of power is so out of whack. How are you possibly going to take this settlement? Well, I'm going to show you how. It's actually... Pretty easy to take this settlement type specifically, but every settlement you should be able to do this with, especially if they don't have an overwhelming number of units in their garrison already. All right, and they're coming in in the right spot, which is what we want. So we're going to stick our Minotaurs there. And we're going to stick our, our gore here, and we're going to stick Kazrak out here to soak up all of our damage. And we're actually going to leave a couple of these over here. Now these guys all have stock, so they're not going to get fired at by towers which is key. I'm actually going to move the Minotaurs back just in case. Towers do fire Chaos over here for some reason and move the shields to here. Oh, that's who I want to take the brunt of this damage. And, and we start the battle. Now, here's what's important to note. Look at how their army is laid out for this settlement. All of their forces are overweighted to this side of the battlefield. And that is our key to victory. So we're going to move all of our stock units this way. And then we're going to take all of these units that have stock and move them to this side of the battlefield. While they're moving, we're going to bring Kazrak up and let him waste all of the ammo that's up here just for something to do while our units are moving. Because, you know, they're AI, so they're happy to waste all of their ammo on you doing this. But there is another key reason why we want to do this. And I'll show you what that is. Assuming that the AI is pretty consistent in what it does from battle to battle, which it generally is. out of ammo for their primary units. Need to make sure that he's taking the tower fire too. And like if you want to, obviously switch in if you have another lord or a shaman or something, switch them into 
soak up some damage too if you want. Alright, so I'm going to slow the game back down again. And the next step is we're going to bring our Minotaurs up in between the tower fire. Still want Kazrak taking the fire if we can. I'm also going to bring Goros up. I'm going to bring. No, those are just pistoliers. I'm going to bring my non stock units up into position. And these three raiders I'm going to bring up into position as well. Where did I put these guys? Yeah, they're here. So we'll bring these guys up too. Right, but the key here is get everybody out of the tower. Fire. So let Kazrak soak that up. You know, if you take a couple of casualties with it, no big deal. And we'll speed this up too. So now let's get Kazrak out. We'll actually stick him over here. And everybody else should be now out of the tower fire. All right. So now we're in position, right? Let's double check and make sure all of their units are heavily weighted to this side. Um, make sure you take these guys off of auto fire. Because they are going to serve a purpose here as well. Get these guys out of the way. And let's get these guys lined up so that they can actually fire on something. Because they are going to serve a purpose in, in doing some damage. Uh, their primary number one purpose here is going to be let's take out the Pistoliers. They've got good fire uh, arc fire. Alright, so now while this is going on, we're going to go back to our secondary force. And we're going to move them up to the walls. Looks like we're having some line of fire issues here. Whoop. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to move you guys up. Let's move you over here. Can they s Yeah, they can see them. There we go. What about you? Can you see them? They cannot see them. So you gotta be closer. What about you? Can you see them? So it looks like they are now out of arc fire, but that's okay. We will uh, worry about that later. So let's fire at the swordsman. Alright, now these guys are all up to the wall here. So we're going to slow this down again and go back to our secondary force. Next step is to get these guys up and over the wall. And I'm only going to use these... I'm not going to use this section. I'm only going to use these sections. Because they're still in stock. They're still hidden. That's important. I want to make sure... Once they come over the walls, then they'll get exposed visibly by this group of spearmen here, probably. 
but by then it it won't matter. The other thing we want to do is make sure that they don't have fire at will turned on because we don't accidentally want to be hitting units and exposing us. Next thing I'm going to do is break down the gates. All right, so those swordsmen are gone. Let's see if something else comes up on the wall. And we'll speed this up. Doesn't look like anybody's coming up on the wall, so we'll just start Please shooting run. at whatever's in range. So we'll take Attack these swordsmen Attack. next. Angles. And these guys can fire at them. Like it doesn't really matter. All right, so now these guys can back off again, and you'll notice that they're bringing all of their units up now to fill in the gaps of the ones that we took away. So the only one that's left down here is this Spearman unit. Once this guy's over here, then we're completely out of danger. And when I say danger, I mean danger of being spotted. So I'm going to bring that unit there. This unit here. Come on. There we go. See, now they've been discovered, but I don't think anything's going to move over. The AI's like, nope, everybody's really over here. This is where we're going to focus. Which is, again, only to our benefit. This is just exploiting bad AI is all it is. Actually, let's take out their leadership here. They're not going to hit much with that arc of fire. So I'm actually going to... Can we hit this? Yeah, let's, let's move him over here. He doesn't have much ammo left. All right, so these guys, again, move them off the wall. Less chance of being discovered. These guys can go up. These guys can go up. These guys can go up. All we're trying to do is get our troops over the wall. That's it. And by drawing everything away from the city center, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these units and throw them into the city center, and we're just going to win this battle, taking minimal casualties on points. I believe that they are already... Yeah, they're already coming down. Alright, so out of ammo. They're probably not going to hit much there, but we'll let them fire anyway. Oh, never mind. We'll just trade their position out. So, they're all out of ammo. They've served their purpose. They've done what we need them to do. We'll uh, have them shoot that unit. And then we will go into fast forward again. The next thing that we will do is, once we're in city center, then they'll start sending troops over. And that's why I had the gates broken open. Not that we couldn't scale the walls if we wanted to, but then we'll start hitting their troops from behind as they go back to try and retake their city center. So it looks like... Looks like everybody's just about over the wall. Not sure. They all still show hidden, so I'm not sure why it says that they were exposed. Well, 
Once they're off the wall, then we'll start moving them over. The only unit that's probably going to be problematic are these crossbows. But even that's not going to be a really big deal. Like, we'll take some losses, but it turns this in from a you can't win this battle on the on the balance of power to a easily winnable. And really, as part of this campaign, it's kind of key to get these guys wiped off the map as soon as possible. So, now let's start moving everybody over. And they will occasionally go from hidden to unhidden. But by the time the AI is like ready to respond, it's too late. So, we will go ahead and put this unit over here. And this is kind of the point, right? Is, look, they're only responding with one unit. I'm actually going to take him out of range for now. So now, we'll move these guys in here. We'll charge them in. We'll allow him to shoot. And we'll allow him to shoot. And we'll bring these guys over to here. So this group, but again, these guys are totally expendable. Like, don't care if they live or die. They have one purpose and one purpose only. And that's to flip the point chart. I'm actually going to move these guys over to block. See, now they're starting to come. And as those troops start to move into city center, then we can consider hitting them from behind. But right now, we don't care. All I want to do is... Flip this. And we're doing it now. So we now own the city center. Why? We have more units here than they do. So it's not flipping quite as fast as I'd like. But once we take those crossbowmen out and there's nobody left here, then it's ours. And they will not have enough time to take it back. No matter how many of these guys they kill. Now, get over here, and now kill the crossbowman. So, now it's ours. This battle is over. In 160 seconds, we win. Meanwhile, 
All we have to do now is clog the choke points so that they can't retake it. And fire back here. And again, you know, we're doing this with minimal damage to Kazrak. He comes out of this with almost no hit point damage. Our Minotaurs don't take any damage. Our Gore Herd don't take any damage. And in 83 seconds, this is ours. Not sure why they started coming back. And now, of course, there's nothing left over here. So let's go ahead and hit them from behind, shall we? Quipsad! Quipsad! Bombs! Bombs! Now, even though my guys are running away, there's no way they flip this in six seconds. So we didn't even need to come in and take it from behind. Our expendable units did what they were supposed to do. The city is ours. And that's how you can use stock to your advantage, even when you have a really weak army, comparatively speaking. And for an open field battle, which our next one will be when we go up to take the Bilbao or whatever it's called, none of our powerful or expensive units took any damage and they're ready to go for the next battle. These can all be replaced by when we encamp. Easy peasy. But the difficult battle now was this, the walled settlement that we shouldn't be able to take. But... Thanks to a simple mechanic, we can.